Welcome to FreshMaya.com. My name is Eric, and I'm going to show you how to model an apple out of polygons. I'm going to start off by creating a sphere. So up here on my shelf, click on the Polygons tab, and then I'm going to click on a sphere. I'm going to press number 5 on my keyboard to go to shaded mode. I'm going to zoom in. Over here in my channel box, I'm going to click on the Polysphere 1, and I'm going to change the subdivisions from 20 down to 10. And all I'm doing is highlighting the words, and then I'm going to middle mouse drag on my screen to change those values. And I'm going to change them both to 10. And the reason why I chose 10 is because the apples that I model, at least the apples that I eat, they have like five ridges or five humps going around the top and around the bottom. So if I do 10 divisions going around the Y axis on my sphere, it's going to make it easier to create those, as you will see here shortly. All right, I'm going to go to vertices editing, uh, vertices select mode. So I'm just going to press the F9 button on my keyboard. I'm going to grab this top vertice. I'm just going to push it down. I'm going to grab this bottom vertice. And I'm going to lift it up. All right, I'm going to press the F10 on my keyboard to go to edge select mode. I'm going to select this top edge all the way around. I'm going to scale that inward. And that's where our stem is going to come out of. Kind of push that down. Same thing on the bottom. Except there's not going to be a stem coming out of the bottom. All right, now on the bottom, I'm going to select every other vertice on this next row. So every other vertice. And I'm going to pull those down, like so. Pretty good far. I'm not going to model a lot of detail in this low poly version, uh, but when we smooth it, it will look fine. Now, if you're going to do a really close up to, uh, of an apple and you wanted it really realistic and uh, photorealistic, then you'd probably want to model more uh, detail. All right, at the very top, we're kind of going to do the same thing. I'm going to grab every other vertice, but I ne it needs to match. So, like this vertice right here is going to a point. So the opposite side should go to a point too. So I'm going to select that one and then every other one. Pull those up a little bit. And then I'm going to select the other ones and pull those down a little bit. But not too far. About like that. Okay. I'm going to pull make those, expand those out just a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start shaping this so it looks more like an apple. So I'm going to go to a front or side view, it doesn't matter. F10, and all I'm going to do is just select edge loops and just start shaping this to a shape that I'm happy with. Actually, kind of like this. All right, something about like that. Go back to a perspective view and now I'm just going to test just to kind of see what it's going to look like. So I'm going to go back to object mode and then I'm going to press the number three on my keyboard. I have Maya 2009 so I have the smooth preview so I can hit the number three and I can see what our apple's looking like. Now that actually looks pretty good. It looks not all that great and the reason being is because it's perfectly symmetrical. We need to add some characteristics to it. Every apple I've ever seen has not been perfectly symmetrical like this. It's always got some uh, characteristics to it. So all I'm going to do is start selecting vertices. So I might grab some over here and just pull those out just a little bit. 
I might grab this side and pull it up some. Maybe grab these, pull it down just a little bit. All I'm doing is just trying to add a little bit of characteristic to it. All right, I'm going to smooth shade, see what it's going to look like so far. All right, and there we go. I'm pretty happy with that. Now we need to create a stem, and actually this is kind of sloping in. Uh, let me grab this. Yeah, that's why. I need to grab some vertices here and pull those back up. much better. All right, so now I need to make a stem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a polygon uh, cylinder. Over in the channel box, I'm going to change the subdivision caps. I'm going to change it to zero. And the axis, I'm going to change it to, we'll just cut it in half. We'll do 10, just like we did for the apple. And I'm just going to start shaping it like a uh, stem. I'm going to shift, right click, insert edge loop tool. I'm going to insert an edge loop in there towards the middle. Uh, maybe a couple of them in there. All I'm doing is just moving and rotating these vertices to make the stem kind of uh, curved. Again, just trying to add some characteristics to the stem. I'm going to insert another edge loop up here. Just grab some of these front vertices and kind of pull those in some. All right, if we smooth this right now, it's going to look funny. The, by, the bottom of it's kind of pointy, and the top's really smooth and rounded. So what we need to do is add an edge loop at the very top and at the very bottom. So shift, right click, insert edge loop tool. I'm going to insert an edge loop right there at the top and right down there in the bottom. So now when we smooth it, it stays together. If you wanted to, you could change the uh, this to quads since we're smoothing it. Push that down in there. I've never seen an apple with a stem that quite that big. And there is our apple. Thanks for watching.